in with another exciting video. Today, I want to talk about transitions. When I'm talking about transitions, I'm not talking about break dancing. You know, when you got transitional moves and you want to move into another move, you finish doing your windmills and then you're doing your air flares. And No, we're not talking about that today. We're going to talk about transitions and spiritual work. See, they say two heads are better than one. Well, that is the truth. Well, in this case, when we're talking about spiritual work, you have to anticipate what your target is going to do, whether it's good or evil work. If you're doing love work, one spell may not be enough. You have to think in advance. Well, let's just say this person goes out with another female, right? Well, you know, you want to make sure you want to minimize the chances of that actually happening. Now you say, what if the person, you know, comes back, but there is no, let's just say, there is no commitment. So you have to think in advance when you're going to do spiritual work. Sometimes one spell is not good enough. So this is why you must have transitions. You must be able to transition into the next move. You have to anticipate what your target is going to do in regards to love work. Now, in regards to evil, you may say, well, let's just say this person is not, uh, you know, you don't have access to the person. Well, you know, if you, you know, you lay down, you know, this type of workings here, and come to find out they're not home or they go on vacation for a year, how are they gonna basically make contact with your with your trick? You know, so now you say, well, let's just say they're overseas, but you have a photo of them. You have to think in advance. Well, let's just say, well, the, the you know the, the trick can't hit them so well. Let's just say I'm going to do some distant work, some telepathic work, you know, to catch my target. So basically, when we're talking about spiritual work, sometimes one spell is not good enough because the first spell may not hit the target, or basically through other means, let's just say, you know, you're, the person's distracted. You know, so therefore, when you do the work, well, it doesn't work. So that means you have to basically do another job. That may not seem professional on the end of a client. Because if you give a client one price and basically that doesn't work, you're going to come back and say, well, we may have to do something else. Well, that's not professional. Now, let me give you an example. Here it goes. You go to a mechanic with your car and your mechanic, he tells you one price. And all of a sudden, you come back hours later, you think your car is going to be done. He tells you, oh, well, we got to do some more work. So here's another, we got to do, we had to do something else. And they charge you another fee. You would be mad as hell. I was been, I have been mad as hell. I've had that happen to me. So I would say for you people out there doing work, you don't want to think for the present moment. Just think in the long run. So if you're uh, giving a quote for how much you're going to do to work for the client, you better basically figure out everything in advance because the last thing you need is a client basically saying, hey, you know, you ripped them off or you basically came around and tried to screw them whatsoever. So with that said, thank you guys for watching. Like, share, and subscribe, and I'm out.